When I was a child, I would remember looking out of the window on a rainy day, and I'd always want to go out in it, that inner adventure in me ready to burst free. But being one of seven children, I can understand maybe why my parents looked less favourably on the idea. Another mess to clean up, maybe. But now a dad myself and a husband, I've discovered that growing up really feeds excuses to your inner adventurer. It tells it such things as, not today, let's lie in bed. Or, don't go out today, it's raining, stay inside. When you grow up, you lose contact with the inner adventurer inside you. You start to make excuses why not to do things. And I understand, because it could be tough growing up. You have a family to look after. You also have responsibilities like work. But as photographers, we have, I don't know, an advantage perhaps, maybe an ace up our sleeve. When we visit a location, we visit there with the aim to catch a beautiful photo. And to do this, we're looking at different compositions, we're looking at different perspectives and angles in the landscape. This is exactly what we should be doing with ourselves. I've driven nearly three hours today to visit one of the most beautiful locations in the British Isles, which is Mount Snowdon. But carrying with me the very knowledge that today it's going to be raining the whole day and it's going to have gale force winds. Could have very easily just thrown in the towel and decided not to come here, right? But instead, I used it as an advantage. I decided to look at it from a different perspective and a different angle. After the rain, you can get some of the most beautiful conditions to photograph. You can have beautiful, vibrant, vivid colours from rainbows which arch their way over the landscapes. You can have beautiful sun rays which just burst through the clouds and light up parts of the landscape. Both of these things can create the most wonderful pictures. So I asked myself, what would I feel like if I actually missed these conditions today? Would I regret it? And from that perspective and that angle, it was really easy for me to make the decision to visit here today. I've been trying my very hardest to uh, set up this composition now for about the last half hour. That loud noise you can hear in the background, that's a helicopter and I think uh, it's an air ambulance. Uh, what is it, Terion? Maybe mountain rescue. Now, I hope they're actually rescuing someone soon because they've been kind of flying around for a while. But anyway, I haven't got any more time to wait because we've got to get to the next spot. This is my first composition here. I'll just move out of the way, as you can see. We've got this beautiful lake in the foreground and then this absolutely stunning peak in the distance over there. I don't know what mountain it is, so anyone that knows um, this area around Mount Snowdon, help me out guys, I don't know what it's called. But I keep getting that beautiful cloud just go over the, that peak there. So what I'm trying to do is take the photo while that's happening. I've actually got this on manual mode at the moment and I'm shooting with a 24 millimeter lens and I'm doing this in a square crop because I didn't want to get that whole lake in. I found it was just a bit too much of the foreground there. So I'm going to take this picture now and see how it comes out. You wear me down.
So the weather forecast was definitely right. We've had hail, we've had wind, we've had rain. We've pretty much had all the weather conditions apart from snow. I'm actually expecting a bit of snow to drop on our head soon. But you know what? I've still had a great time. And the reason being is I've managed to get at least two pictures which I'm really happy with. This picture here at the back, it's got a lovely foreground. It's got a lovely middle here, which is the water, and right over there in the distance, you can see the beautiful Welsh mountains. And I keep getting this beautiful dramatic sky which moves in at the top there. Now what I've done is I've put a, an ND graduated filter on at the top, and that's just in case the sun does decide to pop through the clouds, and that makes sure that I can just darken it down enough just to capture that beautiful light. So I've had a great day so far, and I've, what you can't see at the moment is I've actually got my wife behind the camera. Um, she's, she's gone through some you know, really tough conditions today, but she's battled through and I'm really proud of her. But anyway, I'm gonna capture this picture now. I've got it on manual mode. The wind's picking up as you can probably hear. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm shooting an F11. I've made sure I'm, I'm focusing to infinity. So I've zoomed in, I've focused right on that far mountain there and I've made sure that my foreground is also in focus, so I'm in focus from front to back in the image. So, this doesn't look much like the great outdoors, does it? And it's not. <laughs> We're actually uh, back at the hotel now. Okay, so what happened is I took that photo and then the hail returned. And it just kept going over and over and over again. And there was just no let up. So we decided to call it a day. We ran back to the car as quick as possible. We got packed up and then we came to the hotel. It's a shame because I would have liked to have stayed around a bit longer, took some more photos, but I didn't want to risk it because we were quite a distance away from the car and the light was starting to fade. Now there was points today where I really thought it was going to happen. I thought we were going to get the rainbow, we were going to get the beautiful sunrise, oh sorry, the sun rays coming through the clouds. And there was moments when it showed itself, but as quick as it showed, it was gone. So what I said right at the start of the video, I said sometimes, you know, it's important to just get out and, you know, be that inner adventurer that you were when you were a child. Just get out and, and go out on these rainy days because it can produce the best results. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the best results today, but I did get some nice photos that I was happy with. So, you know, I've come away feeling happy uh, with the results of today. So I hope this kind of like helps you guys, you know, if you're really struggling to take action when you, you wake up in the morning and you think, I don't really want to go out today, I'd like to stay in bed, or alternatively, you know it's going to rain, there's a chance of sun, but then you just think, well, it's just not enough to get me up and out, then just get out and try because you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you may get the best results and other times you don't. But what have you lost out on? A little bit of time sitting around in your house doing nothing? It's nothing really, is it? Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's something a little bit different. Uh, I've really enjoyed my time here at Snowdon. Tomorrow I'm off to Betsy Coed. If I can get a little bit of video in it, I will, but I've promised to spend some time with my wife, some quality time, so I may not get a chance to do that. But anyway, whatever you do today, guys, for the rest of today, the day's nearly over. I hope you have a fantastic time, and I'll see you next week.